Alright guys, we, what we have here is a flounder. My buddy actually donated it to me so I can make this video for you guys. My buddy Levi caught this flounder. And I'm going to show you my, my favorite way to fillet these things. Most people get like to do with two fillets. One on each side, one here, one on the back side. What I like to do is get four fillets. You cut down the lateral line, you get one nice fillet here, one fillet here, one fillet here, one fillet here. And with the flounder, top side is always thicker so I like to start on the bottom side and go and get that meat off first so let's make the decision right here why is a little dorsal fin and cut all the way up here to his head but head a uh, top of his head to get his head meat scarred and do the same right here his stomach's right here so you really want to puncture his stomach so I just scar it I take my knife Run it down on his lateral line. This line right here is cut all the way down. Now you take your knife, just like most fish, you want to go ahead and cut right here, scar all the way to his backbone. And take your hand, lift up the meat, and follow his backbone all the way down. Now when you get to that, his, uh, his actual uh, vertebrae, his backbone, see how it's risen up here? You want to make that cover here so you'll be able to cut right through that, right above that backbone. So you'll be able to get your whole fillet off. Get a little bit of his head meat. There's one flounder fillet. Look how white that meat is. That is top notch inshore. Meat right there. You do the same thing the other side. Now remember his stomach's right here. So since the stomach's right there, you can actually start on this side. So you can knife down by his backbone. And just slowly follow, follow his backbone all the way down. Just peel the skin back with a knife. Let your knife do all the work. See how close I am getting to these bones? Listen to that. Now, if you look closely, you can actually see where his stomach is, starts. You just want to stop there and just keep on cutting. There's another fillet. Now you can could get the stomach meat. I don't really like messing with the stomach meat on a flounder. Now that's one side of the flounder. You already got two fillets. Now let's go ahead and get the other side. You basically want to do the same thing. Take your knife. And cut all around his head meat. Like so. And just scar his stomach right here. So you know where to stop at. Take your knife. Scar. His meat. Oh, it's juicy. Just want to work the knife all the way down his back. You want to go ahead and make a cut at his lateral line, just like you do the front, this back side. All the way down. Just like so. That way you get your four fillets.
Get around this rib cage. There's your third fillet. Now you want to do the same thing. See the top of his backbone. Go ahead and arc it down. Angle your knife down. Now you just want to start following his rib cage all the way down, just like you did the back side. Follow his rib cage. All right. And there's your the stomach. There's your fourth fillet. Now these fish also have a lot of cheat meat right in here. So if you've never done this, done this before, what you can do is just take your finger and you feel where the bone is, and it's just a big old U, pretty much a big old U, sh U shape. So you take your knife, start at the tip of the bone. Just follow that meat all the way around. Just cut all the way around it. Now, everybody loves always talk about cheek meat on the flounder. It's always better on the big ones. You don't even worry about the small ones. So, once you got, got it all the way around, just kind of take your knife and scoop the inside of it. You get the cheek meat. And the skin usually just peels right off every time. Now this meat right here is a lot firmer than what this is. It's kind of just like a scallop. It's really good to eat. You can get them on both sides. <coughs> Watch the skin just peels right off. Cheek meat. Now that's my total yield of one flounder. I get four nice fillets and two pieces of cheek meat. Now when skinning them, just like any other fish, I like to start on the tail end first. Make your first cut here. Take a grip on the on the skin in here. Get your knife at the right angle. Grab hold of the skin and let your knife do all the work. Fall it all the way down. And that's why you won't have no meat on your skin at all. Just flounder. You got a nice, beautiful flounder. You even notice about these things actually. Do you, you guys don't see hardly no bloodline at all? Actually, none. But also, you want to go to cut this part off where it um, goes to his fins. I'm not a big fan, it don't taste too good to me. Just going to cut around that. Cut that little piece off. That's how I play a flounder. If you like this kind of video, don't forget to like, comment.